Half a day and good morning everyone. Here is a look at the results from Decision 2016 and we begin with the Congressional race. Congresswoman Madeline Berdalio will head back to, the, to Washington. She secured 18,263 votes over former Governor Felix Camacho with 15,564 votes. Moving on now to the results for the legislative race, and there's big changes for the 34th Guam Legislature. Let's take a look at the numbers. And taking the top spot is Frank Uggen Jr., an incumbent with 20,994 votes. Michael Sin Nicholas, another incumbent with 19,621 votes. A newcomer, Therese Terlahi, 19,612 votes. Followed by Dennis Rodriguez Jr. at number four, 17,546 votes. At number five, another newcomer, Talina Nelson, 16,878 votes. Followed by number six, Will Castro, 15,550 votes votes. At number seven, incumbent Jim S. Baldon with 14,944 votes to Regine Lee, number eight, 14,821 votes. Mary Torres at number nine, 14,743 votes. Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz at number 10 with 14,376 votes. Another newcomer, Luis Munoz at number 11 with 13,626 votes. And Tommy Morrison at number 12, 13,584 votes. At number 13, incumbent Tom Atta with 12,988 votes. And Fernando Estevez, number 14, with 12,947 votes. And breaking the top 15, Joe San Augustine, with 12,492. And number 16, Tina Munoz Barnes, 12,450 votes. Narissa Underwood, 17, with 12,279 votes. And another incumbent, not breaking the top 15, Tony Ada with 11,970 votes. And the way those numbers look, it is a 9-6 uh, Democrat majority for the 34th Guam legislature. It also shows seven incumbents did not make it, while seven new candidates did. Moving on now to the remaining results at number 19, another incumbent, Frank Bloss Jr., followed by Speaker Judy Wanpat, who came in at number 20, Roy Respicio at number 21, Chris Duenas, 22, Jermaine Alerta, 23, Fred Berdalio at 24. 25 was Amanda Bloss, 26, Eric Palacios, Ben Servino, 27, AJ Balahaja, 28, 29, Jose San Augustine, and at number 30, incumbent Brant McCready. Again, those are the results for the legislative race. Moving on now to the next batch of results. And this is for the mayoral elections. In Agania Heights, Paul McDonald, he ran unopposed, so he will serve another term. In Agate, there is a new mayor, Kevin Sisuiko, with 1,168 votes over Democrat Roy Gamboa with 556 votes. Christopher Duenas will be the new vice mayor with 1,183 votes. On to Essen Maina. Frankie Salas with 365 votes, edging out of Vicente San Nicolas with 291 votes. On to Barragata, June Bloss and Jesse Bautista, they are both incumbents and they both were unopposed. In the race for mayor in the village of Dededo, Melissa Savaris appears to be returning as mayor with 3,203 votes over Stephen Guerrero's 1,811 votes. And there's a new vice mayor in the village of Dededo, it appears, Frank Benevenzi with 3,291 votes to Bob Kinnatis, 3,050. In Haganya, John Cruz, he ran unopposed, so he will be continue to be the mayor of Haganya. On to the village of Inarahan. Congratulations going out to Doris Lujan with 782 votes. She is the incumbent, beating out her opponent, David Chargaloff. In Mingilao, there is a new mayor, Alan Ngata. He's actually the vice mayor. Um, he came in with 1,761 votes over Roki Alcantara. 
777 votes. In also there is a new vice mayor, Tom Stuenius, with 1,304 votes to Francisco Delgado, 1,153 votes. In the village of Maritzo, Ernest Chargaloff retains his seat with 586 votes to Rosie Tan and Tonko, 481 votes. And that is uh, the mayoral races. Now let's take a look at more mayoral uh, results. In the village of Mongmong Totu Maiti, there is a new mayor. Congratulations going out to Rudy Paco with 749 votes over Johnny Taitano with 698 votes. In order to challenge Paco, Jesse Gogui, the incumbent, will retain his seat with 1,079 votes over Willie Brennan, 773 votes. In the village of Petey, Jesse Alec uh, beats Soledad Chargaloff. He received 412 votes to her 172. And in Santa Rita, Dale Alvarez, he ran unopposed. Also in Sinahania, another uh, unopposed race, Robert Hoffman and Rudy Iriarti. In Telefofo, Vicente Taitigui, also unopposed. He will still be the mayor of Telefofo. And in Tumuning Tumon Harmon, another unopposed race, Luis Rivera will serve another term. I'll... And in Umatic, Johnny Canata beats out his opponent, John Sanchez. In the village of Jigo, Rudy Matsunani, uh, as it appears right now, uh, will, re will continue to be the mayor of Jigo, beating out Peter Pasquale. And Tony Sanchez will also remain vice mayor, beating out Catherine Martyr. And in Jotnia, Jesse Bloss, he ran unopposed. And those, again, are your results for the mayoral elections. Let's take a look now at the results for judicial retention. Vern Perez, Superior Court Judge Vern Perez, yes, 26,053 to no, 4,669. Moving on now to the next batch of results. It is the presidential straw poll, which Guam has accurately predicted um, over the last several election cycles. Hillary Clinton, 22,972. To Donald Trump, 7,747. We're now going to the results for the Guam Education Board. And as we've uh, told you all last night and early this morning that there's six seats open. And so all six that you see on your screen will be members of the Guam Education Board. So at the top of that list was Peter Alexis Ada, followed by James Lujan, Maria Gutierrez, Lourdes St. Nicholas, Lourdes Beneventi, and Kenneth Chargaloff. Uh, five out of these members are incumbents. And now for the Consolidated Commission on Utilities results. There are three candidates, only two will serve on the board, and they are Joseph Duenius, an incumbent, 17,618 votes, to Dr. Judy Guthert, a former senator, with 17,599 votes. And finally, we have the results for public auditor, Doris Flores Brooks, 20,173, to Dr. Dorian Chrysostomos, 12,804. Now, we should note that the Guam Election Commission Executive Director Maria Pangolina says that the Guam Election Commission will meet on Thursday to discuss a possible recount for some of the general election results. If the results are 2% or less in any race, a recount is necessary. She says while they wait to consult with their legal counsel, preliminary results show close results for the number 15 and 16 spots in the legislative race and possibly the 17th spot. While the preliminary results show a 42 vote difference for the numbers 15 and 16 spots, the Guam Election Commission still has to count off-island absentee ballots, provisional ballots, and write-in votes. The GEC sent out 380 off-island ballots and received 162 so far. The GEC has to wait 10 working days or up to November 23rd for the off-island ballots. Again, the Guam Election Commission will be meeting later this week, Thursday, to discuss the possibility of a recount. And for more on Decision 2016, go to KUAM.com.